वेलकम एवरी वन टूडे दॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज प्रेशर स्विंग डिस्टिलेशन इन डी डब्ल्यू सीम इन दिस टूटोरियल वी विल सॉल्व अ केस स्टडी फॉर इथानोल एंड टोलिन सेपरेशन प्रोसेस दिस मिक्सचर मेक्स आइजोट्रॉप्स एंड द आइजोट्रॉपिक कंपोजिशन इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन प्रेशर so uh, we will learn the effect of pressure on isotropic composition of ethanol and toluene mixture and uh, you will learn how to specify the cape open distillation column for pressure swing distillation in dw sim and then uh, how to use recycle uh logical operation uh for isotropic mixture for further uh separation of ethanol and toluene and in the end you will also learn how to use pump and valve unit operation in dw sim so these are the learning objectives of this uh, tutorial and now some basic information of this case study Uh, actually i took this uh, example from a research paper and the reference is given here if you want you can just uh, go and check and read for uh, more detail information of this process so in right hand si side you can uh, see this uh, plot uh, that is uh, showing the dependence of uh, isotropic composition of toluene in weight percent so with increasing the pressure the isotropic composition is decreasing on the other hand the uh, the vapor liquid equilibrium temperature is increasing okay so uh, but when pressure swing distillation is used when the isotrope is pressure sensitive like in this case toluene and ethanol then the pressure uh, swing distillation is used particularly in many other many many industries to have the uh, pure ethanol and pure toluene so here is the flow sheet that we are going to uh, simulate in dw sim so the feed that is consisted of uh, ethanol and toluene mixture 0.72 and 0.28 in the weight percentage or weight fraction at 30 degree c and 1 atm pressure enters into uh, the isotropic uh, sorry into the low pressure column uh, and this column operates at uh, 0.5 atm pressure and we are assuming there is no pressure drop inside the uh, the column reflux ratio is given that is 0.9 so after solving this problem we will check at 0.5 atm what would be the temperature of uh, the distillate from this first column and uh, we will see that at 0.5 either we have the toluene weight percentage according to this plot or not where we are lying okay and also the bottom product of the first column should uh, have the ethanol purity of uh, mole fraction of 99% okay and uh, then this uh, the isotropic mixture from first uh, low pressure column will uh, pass through the second uh, high pressure distillation column that operates at 11 atm pressure and the reflux ratio again given 0.8 and again here so at higher pressure we will see at 11 atm what would be the isotropic uh, composition of this ethanol and uh, toluene mixture so in the bottom of first column we will mainly have pure ethanol and in the bottom of second column we will mainly have pure toluene and uh, the the distillate of uh, uh, second column 
is uh, recycled back to the first column for further uh, separation so this is the problem statement and the flow sheet that we are going to solve in dw sim so let's move to dw sim software well we are in dw sim software environment so the first thing is you just have to create a steady state simulation okay press next and now specify the component we have only two ethanol add it and uh, the second component is toline so we specify both components just press next and uh, from uh, thermodynamic property package we are going to use an rtl that is non-random to liquid thermodynamic package and from system of units i am going to use uh, si1 where i am going to change the temperature from kelvin to degree c and uh, rest is rest seems uh, okay then just press finish okay now we are in uh, simulation uh, environment and ready to construct our uh, uh, flow sheet so let's start with the material stream click on that and uh, we say it is feed press enter and uh, the input data the the feed temperature inlet temperature is 30 and uh, the flow rate is 3500 72 weight percent ethanol 3500 and uh, here from mole fraction we have here mass fraction and ethanol is 0 0.72 and uh, toline is 0 0.28 and now just press accept changes uh, sorry mass fraction okay so in mole fraction it is like this okay now we just uh, specify the uh, feed composition okay the next step is take another uh, material stream click on it and we can say this is recycle recycle feed and we just rotate it 90 degrees C like this okay so for further uh, 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 construction of flow sheet I am just uh, pausing the solver because it will uh, continue to solve at every uh, time when I press enter so to avoid uh, delays and uh, uh, uh errors during the flow sheet construction i just uh, disable the solver and now first i will construct the complete flow sheet and then i will run the simulation okay so let's move go to the next step for that press escape open uh, unit operation and uh, drag it here so this is our low pressure column okay so it is here so click on it i am changing its name lp low pressure and uh, uh, just uh, click on the column and then go to the open cape open uh, uh, object editor so it's the the simple distillation so number of stages uh, are given that is uh, 34 but if we include the reboiler then it is 35 okay so the number of stages are 35 press ok
well so this new window will open from camsap software so we are not going to use cape open properties but we will specify thermodynamic property separately here so the components we because we did not uh, connect uh, the feed stream to the column so that's why here we have dummy one and dummy two but after that we uh, connect the feed stream this will automatically be filled by the software so from here go to the operation equilibrium column that is okay simple distillation operation condenser is total liquid product and uh, reboiler is partial liquid product that is fine and if we see our flow sheet we have uh, two feed stages the first the main feed is entering at uh, stage number six and uh, the recycle feed is entering at stage number 16 so let's define that so how we can define it press six press comma and then 16 so in this way we can uh, define the feed stages though feed stages are uh, defined now go to the thermodynamics so from thermodynamics k values are uh, depend are calculated uh, by a dkma method activity coefficient uh, because we are using nrtl so to be consistent again we are using here nrtl vapor pressure and toin equation base enthalpy is the ideal one okay so the thermodynamic is fine feed i already tell you when we connect it would be filled automatically specifications so the pressure okay the column pressure is 0 0.5 atm similarly the top pressure is also 0 0.5 atm okay and column is operating at constant pressure and then after specifying pressure go to the column specs and uh, here the the top specification we have a reflux ratio that is given here if we see uh, it is 0 0.9 okay so 0 0.9 is the reflux ratio for bottom specification uh, we have uh, the uh, the mole a uh, fraction of uh, toline that is uh, mole fraction of component and uh, the component uh, mole fraction is 0 0.0005 okay so everything is defined for first column after that just close this one and uh, say yes to save this okay now it's time to connect uh, the feed stream so uh, the feed one it will go to the uh, feed at stage number six and uh, the recycle stream will be at stage number 16 after that go to the outlet and uh, generate uh, create uh, one outlet and um, uh, one top stream and one bottom stream so this is the top stream we can say it d1 or distillate one and uh, the material stream four actually this is the bottom one we can say bottom one okay so the distillate one is at 0 0.5 bar pressure and uh, we have to introduce this stream into the second column uh, at a higher pressure at 11 atm so we will need a pump to to increase the pressure of this stream so we will you uh, use this pump operation the inlet is d1 and uh, we are going to the outlet stream and one energy stream okay so this one material stream 5 i am changing its name feed 2 and again click on pump 
and uh, the calculation type we need outlet pressure uh, what should be the outlet pressure 11 atm so it can enter into the second distillation column so the pump unit operation is also specified okay so let's move to the next step so we have to again specify the uh, high pressure distillation column for that go to the cape open unit operation and drag a second distillation column into the flow sheet okay so here we have second column uh, i will change its name high pressure hp okay and uh, the stream or the feed is actually feed 2 that is going to enter and the outlet stream just create 2 one is uh, material stream 6 and the other one material stream 7 so the the 6 is actually the distillate second distillate or d2 and uh, material stream 7 is b2 okay so now it's time to specify the uh, second or high pressure distillation column for that again open cape open object editor okay so it's again simple distillation but number of plates for that go to this uh, presentation so uh, the total number of stages are 21 so if we include reboiler so it will be 22 and the feed stage number is 16 okay so it is 22 press enter okay so again go to the operations from operations it is simple distillation total liquid product and uh, here we have a total uh, liquid product in uh, reboiler as well so the number of stages are 22 and the feed stage is number 16 okay so go to the thermodynamics again specify the same like uh, the previous uh, distillation column uh, activity coefficient will be based on nrtl vapor pressure is entoin equation based enthalpy is the ideal one so again go to the pressure so for pressure the feed uh, or the condenser pressure and the column pressure is 11 atm and similarly here uh, we are just pressing 11 atm press enter okay so the constant uh, pressure inside the column that is okay next is go to the column specification so the top uh, for top we have reflux ratio here again 0 0.8 and uh, for bottom we have uh, uh, the mole fraction of a component here in this case it is ethanol and uh, the composition of uh, sorry the mole fraction of ethanol is 0 0.002 okay so after that just press enter and then check the feed so it is already uh, well defined now cross this one and save it okay so we specify the second column uh, to ensure the first column just click on it and uh, uh, open cape open object editor again because uh, i just want to uh, be sure that the both the feeds are connected properly okay so go to the fields so feed one uh, number uh, six the stage number feed two is 16 stage number and the column spec 
here is uh, ethanol uh, and here what we have sorry uh, ethanol actually it is toline with this uh, mole fraction so we have to change it instead of ethanol it is toline now uh, everything is fine just save it okay so the next step uh, is just click d2 and uh, rotate it 90 degree or now i think uh, 180 okay so it is 11 bar so we have to introduce into the column of 1 atm so i am going to use a valve that will uh, decrease the pressure okay so click on this valve inlet is d2 and uh, create an outlet click on it and again rotate 180 click in this material stream rotate 180 okay so click on this valve what we need the outlet pressure so the outlet pressure we want 1 atm that is okay after that we have to use logical operation use recycle block so click on it click on it and uh, after that just uh, use uh, connect material stream number eight and uh, to the recycle feed okay and uh, right click on it and then rotate 180 degree okay so uh, i think everything is uh, fully specified until here so before running this uh, simulation i just click on this recycle feed and uh, from here the compound amounts uh, in, uh, the bases are in mole fraction i change it mass fraction and from mass fraction uh, i i will have a guess value to to start the simulation you can see at 11 atm the uh, composition of toline in weight percent uh, is around uh, 0 0.05 so what i will do I will take it uh, zero, 20 percent uh, uh, toline and 80 percent uh, ethanol so to to facilitate the solver to converge fast so 0 0.8 ethanol and 0 0.2 uh, uh, toline okay and uh, the uh, the stream the the mass flow rate maybe I'm, I will start with 3000 uh, kg per hour okay so now I think everything is uh, fully specified so let's uh, let's uh, start the uh, simulation just press F5 and uh, now you can see the flow sheet is being uh, well uh, finally the flow sheet has been converged so uh, let's uh, check the uh, results so if we go to the presentation so the first thing we have to confirm that the distillate of uh, first column either it has uh, the isotropic mixture composition so the we know that the pressure was 0 0.5 atm and we don't know the temperature so let's first confirm the temperature and the uh, mass composition of ethanol and uh, toline in d1 okay so click on d1 so you can see the temperature is 59.9 that is okay 
and for uh, composition go to the results instead of mole fractions check the mass fraction so the ethanol mass fraction is 65 and the toluene is 0 0.34 weight percent okay so to to confirm it with our graph uh, sorry here so at 0 0.5 so you can see that the temperature is around 60 degrees c and uh, the uh, the uh, isotropic composition of toluene in weight percent is around uh, 36 37 weight percent so our result is very close to this one and the second thing we have to check at higher pressure that is 11 bar so at 11 bar the temperature is around 155 okay and uh, the composition of benzene uh, sorry tol uh, toluene uh, in isotropic mixture is uh, around uh, between uh, 5 to 10 weight percent okay so just click d2 and go to the temperature is perfectly fine that is 155 degree c and the results of ethanol and uh, uh, toluene is in mole fraction so go to the mass fractions so the 80 percent ethanol and 19 weight percent uh, at higher pressure the temperature is perfectly fine but the composition of uh, toluene is uh, little bit higher compared to the isotropic uh, composition so there is a margin still we can have uh, uh, we can uh, remove more toluene from uh, the second distillate okay and the last thing is from the bottom of first column we will have uh, mainly ethanol so you can see 99.95 mole percent and if we talk about in mass so it's 99.9 percent .9 of uh, methanol is present in b1 and uh, the bottom of second column it should be toluene and you can see that uh, in mole percent it's 99.8 percent toluene and if we talk about in mass fraction it's 99.89 weight percent so this is the way how you can uh, uh, simulate pressure swing distillation and uh, for uh, for your uh, is i am uh, also giving the link to download this file to compare your result with uh, with mine so i think it would be uh, helpful for you i made this video on the request of one of the student who write me uh, email and he he is writing continuously in comments sirivasta so i hope you will have some help from it so uh, if you if you find my content useful please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel uh, up till next video bye bye